Let's see. Please be good. Oh, oh. Wow, there's so many Namari groups going on. You know what? I should jump on the bandwagon, man. Leap also grants you a shield. That is interesting. Collect, dude. 30% collection of scratch. So much of a fan, honestly. He could have played something better than something better than this. Oh, that's a good intro. That's a good one. Keep me up, keep me up like coffee. And I want to know if you know this 100% or if you're just guessing on it or you're assuming. Because either way, I'm going to test it next Thursday and find out 100%. Alley, Poppy, what you talking about? Does Dio time skills work on the immortal? Not burn effects, not chill effects, but oh. DOT. Damage over time? Um, From a player casting on the immortal? I don't see why not. There is a lot of mixed reviews about this, and if DOT works, that means some people were asking me what's better to run resistance Whoa. to avoid Whoa. all the slow. Hold on, you just or, give, you just give me a huge, huge light bulb, huge light bulb, and here's how I could tell how you could figure I'm it out today. No, 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 you could have somebody. I could have who is bacon on main today. 
Uh, yeah, but uh, today's Wu Tang. We don't want to take a chance on today. Okay, so all we need to 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 check to see if he works, right? Which if he does work, here's how you check. And here's mm -hmm. the, here's the what I would do. Here's how I would check it. If I was still a necro, I would be putting those pens that says that once you use Grim Grim Scythe, it procs all the continuous damage that the target have on the target to the target. Which means that if everybody and their mother is casting bleed, burn, uh, poison, and putting whatever kind of hot on the immortal, and one single necro goes with Grim with that leg essence and hits the neck the immortal with the grim you should proc everything and the necro should do a like a stupid damage of like something on the hundreds of thousand damage so the that's that's the how reason it works. why I, yeah i want to know because i'm going to test it next thursday next thursday the way i'm going to test it is i'm going to record it i'm going to hit the support guy one time and then i'm going to wait three to five seconds and I hit him another time with a different skill i'm literally going to bring all dot skills Hit him with different ones, everything from dark curse on the support one to whatever, bone spike, poison, etc. So on. And I'm gonna rewatch it in slow mo to see if it ticks over and over again for me in damage. The reason why I want to know this is because a lot of people are asking me, should I run resistance to uh, to do better against the slow attack and the CC of the fear and blah 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 blah, or should I run potency? Because potency for Necro definitely will increase your damage because it increases the length of how long your DOT is. So if I got high fucking potency and I'm smacking somebody, I'm going to get an extra one or two ticks compared to some other abilities. And well, on, oh shit, I'm, I don't I'm think, about to die. I think that the best, if damage over time functions on the Immortal, I mean, I think you need to have one Necro running that uh, Grim. And if that does happen, um, mm -hmm. That necro, the moment that he uses that, he would remove every single damage over time that's on the immortal. It doesn't matter if it's put up from that player or other players. Yeah. So, but uh, but next but, Thursday, I'm gonna I'm gonna test this in major detail. Like, I'm not today's not the day to do it, but on Thursday, I'm going to test the fuck out of this because it I got a video it on it. I tested that already. It didn't really work that well. You did did it have damage over time in general? Did it do any ticks? Um I don't know if I went back and watched it, but I have it on my YouTube channel. It's the short one with like zero views <laughs> or nine views or something. I have to look at it because a lot of people are asking me they want some people want to know if they should go DOT on one of their skills. That way while the other skills have you done rage yet? Uh no hold on, who is this? Um uh, no, but I mean, yeah, um, if there's damage over time on the immortal, um, then I really think that 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 grim leg build bacon would be sick because you well, know, they also want to have other, other classes, other classes want to use it for why their cooldowns are on, they can use the damage over time, so he's still taking damage while they're chasing with cooldowns doing normal. Attacks. Well, here's the thing if it doesn't, if it doesn't, then where a lot of our players are getting hurt, like, like for example um there's a lot of people that have uh essences that makes their primary weapon do burn over time or yeah, their offense yeah. do burn yeah. over time and if burn doesn't work then they have a dead essence on their weapon and it's hurting Actually, us yeah a lot of dhs ask me that because they have some of the dhs are using burn um on their multi-shot or their flame arrow whatever it is and i'm like uh okay. the crusader suit so, the crusader is using the new weapon yeah. with the burn the barbarian have the offhand with the burn <laughs> Which is the one that I'm using I know. now. I know for a fact the immortal cannot be burned, chilled, slow, CC, any CC ability. The question is, is it just still pump, pump the damage out? Even though it's a burn ability, is it still just saying, okay, he's not on fire, but I'm still giving you the DOT? Because immortals cannot take any like CC ability. They can't be CC. Correct. So technically a burn is a CC, but the question is, did it just say, hey, it's not burning? Mm, isn't burn damage over time? Burn is not really a CC. Because if it was a CC, you would proc chip. E, it, it is, but it isn't. Because there's CCs that don't proc chip. Knock up is a CC, but it doesn't proc chip. So, I want to say I, I saw a seeping bile hit him. Yeah, the only that thing that can proc chip is something that total is loss. full. Yeah, total loss. So, I mean, there are some CCs. Because potency helps burn. Because it makes any DOT movie or any DOT move 
potency boost because it makes it last longer and it does more. And they want to know, some of them just want to know because they have some high potency gems, but they switch to resistance because they want to make sure that they can resist things. But they were like, what's the point of potency? I was like, it makes your DOTs last longer. It makes it extend the ability of it, da, 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 da. And they were like, okay, well, that's cool. Can I do this? Can I do that? And I'm like, I honestly have read into this a thousand times and I meant to test it and never did. There was a lot of mixed reviews on this. A lot. Well, if damage over time doesn't work, then every single person that have potency gems, I don't even know if it's beneficial. Yeah, they need to get rid of their potencies. If, but then do, you hard. can't put nothing else. Like, here's the thing. Potency. You put resistance in to avoid the slow from the three blades mm -hmm. and then the uh, fear and yeah, lower, lower yeah, all those. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That would tell you your three main gems because to, after, to, after tonight... I have a person coming in to chat to listen because I'm going to go over every single thing you can do like I did before a million times over. But since we had two and a couple new people, what I want to do is go over every single thing to help you in the chat tonight. And then we're going to make a list and we're going to post that in Discord for it's easy to read and maintain. That way people don't have to join. If they don't want to, they can just go over there, read it. It's a reminder, things like that. Like... You know what I mean? It's just something to help them in Shadow Wars. And this is one of the questions I got actually from a DH. Who's a new DH? He's a new DH. It's Salamander who asked me this question. And I was like, to be honest, it, CC used to work, but they patched it where CC couldn't work because there was a glitch. The Immortal where you could freeze him and he couldn't move no more. And that was over the slow. It was uh, the glitch was done by Necros and um, Wizards. The original slow they had. If you both casted slow, the immortal couldn't move if he had too many slows on him. So he was literally stuck in place. <laughs> but they passed it. That was that was way back. That was like in all I think August was the last time that happened. And they instant passed it. That was back when Mounter Banks worked for a uh, immortal. So but you could literally freeze the immortal and he couldn't move. You could CC the fuck out of him. That's why they took that away. But that's the question. Like, do they consider I know potency considers burn CC. But does the immortal consider burn CC? Oh, well, it's, it's it's really good, man. I could tell you that mm -hmm. every single every single player has some essence that is creating like either doing damage over time, poison. Mm -hmm. I think the burn over time is everybody's using it. That the demon hunters is using it on their hunters, yeah. on their primary weapon. Yeah. The barbarians using it on the offhand weapon. The crusaders are using it on the primary weapon. Uh, monks are using. I mean, I, I feel like almost every single person in the clan is using something that does kind of, yeah. you know, damage or poison or, or yep. you know, why not. So, um, other than, uh, mm. technically other than Necros, because in support, we use full summon summon in frenzies. And so, if somebody has a but, gem that are the same rank level other than Seeping Bio, it may even better to put that gem versus using Seeping Bio, if that's the case, yeah. too. Because there was some people on Reddit said, I'm in main battle. And while I'm in main battle building my corpses up, I'm using bone spikes with poison or bleed or whatever it is. And he's, as he runs by, if I, like, say I, I send out all my corpses, while I don't have no more corpses and doing normal attack and I'm chasing him, I put bleed on him over and over again. And then other people's like, that shit don't work. He's like, yes, it does. People's like, yes, the initial stab does, but it doesn't continue. Like, there, there's huge controversies in every Reddit, everywhere I read. So I'm literally going to videotape on Thursday and literally do one ability at a time do not main attack nothing and literally hit one ability and watch the replay kind of thing yeah i'm very interested because this is going to help because this can just be like look okay well you, you should do it on the uh on the support too not just on the immortal main but also on the support you gotta check on both sides i'm gonna do on support and i'm gonna have to get somebody else to check in main the problem is main goes in like 30 seconds <laughs> Yeah. The goes in like 30 seconds. So whoever it is, they got to be prepared. They got to get over there. And literally, I'm not going to chalk them up as doing bad damage. I will literally be like, it's okay. So I can ask Alex because Alex is a DH and he can do burn. And I can, he'll record it. And I can just be like, hey, do one attack. That's it. I'm not going to judge you on you doing low damage. Literally <laughs> do your burn attack and videotape it. And then just sit there and before we can rewatch it and see if burn actually works on the main or the support. Cause it, it it's a big thing. Like it uh, it'll help. That like I said, it'll tell you if it doesn't work. We don't need potency gems. Literally, all we need is armor, DPS, and armor pin. Unless somebody wants health gems, 
which I don't see why they want to use them, but if they're dying a lot, it might not be a bad idea for them to put health gems on. But a lot of people recently has done a lot better in deaths. Like at Tabarusa, we only had 20 deaths. And Tabarusa is definitely a lot stronger than, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Wu-Tang's, the last meeting with Wu-Tang. So, freaking Beast has got like 6,000 residents or whatever. The freaking Beast. Yeah, so he's definitely stronger than the Wu Tang's immortal. Hmm. But I, it's something I want to test. The problem is, I'll try to test it on my end tonight, but I can't. I don't know. I don't really want to test it on a Saturday war against somebody that we had 70 some deaths against. Last time we beat them by 20%, but we still had 70 some fucking deaths against them. So, I mean, I could. I want to get our boost damage up as much as possible for us, for we don't have no questions in this war when we win. But Thursday night, I got all the time in the fucking world to put something on and stand there and watch. <laughs> it's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, but remember the week that uh, Drazen beat me? Yeah. With the damage? That was when I was testing it. No, but I only had the uh, Corpse Lance Decay and the Poison offhand, I think. Oh, the Decay wouldn't even work then, right? Because the Decay does damage over time? Uh, the decay does do damage over time, but he also had the mal the mal hand for the bone spike poison. So that's a three second poison every time he hits, or three ticks of poison, or something. Well, but if you can't poison him, he won't work. Yeah, you literally get the base damage or whatever he does. The skill base sales does. That's the thing. It's either that's probably why Bacon didn't do a lot of damage because if he's <laughs> going on a hot build <laughs> and there's no. Putting hot on the yeah, immortal. You hit for like three thousand per bone spike, and not nine thousand or what, or thirteen thousand per bone spike, and that's it. Instead of hitting thirteen thousand plus three thousand plus three thousand every time it ticks, or you're. Mm. Yeah. So I gotta figure this yeah. out. Like I, I, I really need to know, because this will be one of the last things. Well, about... he, he, here's what you could try. You could do this now. You can go to um, oh. the Rite of Exile and and do that test because I mean I know it's not the same fight as Immortal. But you but could. It would be the same as before, wouldn't it? Um, Damn, but you could do the test now, though, because if you go to the um, if you go to um, um, to the Quarter Whispers and you do the the uh, practice, Challenge. the practice yeah. battle against the Immortal, you just go there now and try to poison him or burn him and see if you get a tick. Yeah, and that would be that would be like being in support battle because that's the bot in support battle. That's all that is. So that would tell me if it works in support at least. Yeah, there was like too much chaos going on in the battle. I can't even tell if he has debuffs on him or whatever. <laughs> There's so many skills flying all over the place. I could tell you that I've never turned myself green from like having sleeping bow. And if I go back and watch all my videos, I don't. I, to be honest, I don't think I could ever say that I saw like take small ticks over time. Like the only damage is like because I'm constantly watching the numbers of the damage like. A value that people are hitting me for so i can determine if i'm ready to jump or not kind of thing and i've never really seen small values i only see like big hits and then blocks big hits and blocks big hits and blocks so let me uh i got two more chaotic badges to get over these damn monks and then i'm gonna run into okay now i'm done with it cool and that's my last bounty cool all right so i'm gonna transfer back what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put on bleed spikes i'm gonna put on dark curse uh the one that melts the ground i'm gonna put on bone armor the one that does damage over time and i'll put on the bright maul which does uh damage from my primary Blind maul it poison the... hideous uh dawning helmet with the uh, uh bleed yeah and what does the burn and then uh soul fire shield how about you doing blind maul so you gotta use you gotta use uh, bone spear yeah, and then there's another one that people were talking about. Um, there was something with the big skulls or something. There was something with bone spears, but I don't really know which one bone spear. I've never heard the other bone than the spear. Fear. Those fear. Uh, it's continuous damage, but it's not on the person. They have to be like in the bone spirits. I don't think that works with it. Bone spear. No. Okay, so we're gonna Cause do because it, it's not a buff or it's not a debuff on the enemy. But they'll take so continuous well. damage if they're like standing in it. Okay, we got bleed, and then I need to do the. Where's the bone armor one that ticks damage on the ground? 
the so chest. To continue, it's to filth first, whatever squalor. No, reduce their movement speed. That's not a bone. It's splinter, sir. Uh, bone armor continuously damage the target. So let's do that one. Okay. Um, corpse land, snail flick, stacking chills. You know, I could even do a corpse explosion and see if it ticks with uh, Rostam's. So let me try a corpse explosion. You could do the corpse, corpse explosion with that free shoulder to see if you can freeze the immortal. Yeah, I know free. I know chill and burn does not work on them. They, you can't freeze him. I just don't know if the effects of the damage over time works. I do know 100% you cannot chill or freeze or burn the immortal or any of that. I'm just wondering if the, the actual effects from it. Like if you burned it, would it just not say he's burning? It would just say you're doing DOP or DOT. Mm. Slice now can trigger, triggers all continued damage on the target. It hits the enemy instantly to take the remaining. Oh, no, dude, okay, that's the one you're talking about, the Grim Slice, so let me put that on. I'm going to have to switch through skills while I'm doing this. Um, and, and, uh, crap, just look at yeah, that, that Grim Sight, so my biggest crit with that Grim Sight leg was 671 or 691. It was like something stupid. Like I did over half a million hit. I can even do, yeah, I can even mm -hmm. test the uh, spirit one with the shield. I could put the bone wall in knights and burns. So I, I just got to switch my skills as I'm doing. Actually, that was the biggest hit I've hit in the game between any character is the necro. Like, the necro is the biggest damage dealing character in the game. Uh, uh, the Crusader has one of those, too. Single target, I feel like necro is by far the single burst target most big yeah. damage in the game. The thing with the set is that I, I did, like you don't put as many hots as the necro does though. Yeah. And then like even if you're even if you go like oh man, I wonder if that build could be like if you can put the gems that put uh like uh what is it a biting curse? If you can put like other gems that cr puts damage over time as well. Mm. That can... uh, well, I'm going right now. I'm going with. I have every single CC essence I could put on, and I'm gonna have to switch some skills. I'm going in with bone armor, bone spikes, um, corpse explosion, the maul build, um, damage over time with dark curse, and then I also have the soul fire thing on. So I'm gonna switch to soul fire and test it with the with the bone wall burn everything. Like I'm going in. I'm about to go in right now. <laughs> and you wanna have a grace set if you want more damage too. Yes. I'm not worried about it. I just want to see if it actually ticks in general. If it ticks yeah. in general, then we can optimize. You know what I mean? Well, well at like least put two V2s. Oh, no, actually, it's not beneficial. Never mind. It doesn't uh, matter. I have V2s. No, it doesn't matter. Is it challenge, challenge practice or right practice? It's challenge, uh, right? Uh, uh, right. It's not the right. Is it the right? That's 8v8s, I thought. No, challenge is a challenge. Challenge Immortal. It's Challenge Immortal. The, challenge Immortal. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you're the, but I think you're the Immortal. I don't think you're the Shadows. No, I'm the I'm, I'm I'm about to fight him. I'm up top waiting. No, you fight the immortal uh, okay. on the challenge the immortal. Yeah, I think you get to okay. play as the immortal as the immortal side, and on the shadow side you do the other way. Yeah. Ah, that, that yeah. Makes yeah, sense. I think it's flip flops depending <laughs> on what 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 group you're in. Yeah, okay. Battle begins in two seconds, and I'll let you know. I'm gonna skip all of it. Okay, we're gonna mm -hmm. defeat the immortal. Let me go over here. Where's he at? All right, first I'm gonna do dark curse. Immune, immune, immune. It just said immune, immune, immune. Immune, immune. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wait, is that them or me? Is it showing me all their fucking moves? I'm gonna back up. God damn it, show me all their damage. Stop showing their damage. He killed them all. Hold on over there. Uh, will you stop fucking hitting me, please? Like, all I could tell when I was watching mine was I didn't have any huge, like, damage numbers. Okay, I will say bone spikes 100%, 100% works. Um, now that's yeah, challenge that's immortal. Not... That's not shadow war. Okay, it's challenge immortal. That's right. like fighting when we are win the AVA from the right, and then we get to challenge immortal. So it, it so is a different spike, me mechanic. Bone spikes works. Um, dark curse, dark curse does not work. The maul works. Okay, so bone spikes works 100%. The poison on bone spikes works. Okay. The maul poison works um, 100%. The bone died. spike fear? I mean, so, I'm sorry. The bone spike bleed works? Bleed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
One hundred percent. I just watched it tick for thirteen thousand over and over and over again. Right, no. multiple thirteens. Everybody, I waited for all the people to die, and I was the only one who hit him. Um, Dark Curse does not work on the ground. Um, the Bone Armor one does not work. Uh, the Maul works. The Poison Maul, where you hit him, and it's Poison Maul, that worked. I watched that tick. I got to go back in there because uh, too many of my friends died in the match for me to try out Bone Maul <clears throat> and Soul Fire. Let's see if Bone Maul Soul Fire works. Um, even though Bone Wall, I don't think you want to use Bone Wall because it'll get the fuck out of that. So, but we're still going to check it to see if it works. Well, put all the put all this the the dots that you can on him, and then hit uh, Grim and see what kind of crazy damage you hit, you hit. Yeah. I think it has to be the one that him because like the Dark Curse is on the ground, and so is the Bone Armor one. It's not actually on the Immortal. Yeah, and but... also they're they're poison. They're not. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't have a fire ability. That's the problem. I can't tell if fire works or not. But they're poison. Uh, they you no know fire and chill does not work. There's the uh, soul fire offhand. The, the oh, 25% yeah, yeah, yeah. burn. Yeah, is that, yeah, that's the that's the offhand. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, I can also do the bone wall one. That's what I'll do. I'll put the bone wall on. Because the bone wall, sits there, he, does, he moves a little bit in this mode. But it's not like he's going crazy. I just wait for all my teammates to die, and then I go in and do a solo and attack. Because <laughs> the, they suck. You must leave the current battle. Bitch, I'm out of the battle. Oh, I got to leave the party. Fuck. They put me in a party when I went in there? That's stupid. You're in a party with NPCs? With fucking bots. Yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of bots that are attacking you more to a long way more to yourself. Yeah, they all, they all... That's why I got confused earlier. I was like, damn, I am doing shit over everything, but no, it wasn't. Because I had to wait for all the bots to get whirlwind to get killed, and then check what stats they have. Kind of funny. Uh, really shitty because they got like one shot. <laughs> we actually <laughs> lost the battle. Well, the immortal gets one shot too. Uh, I think you can't do much, fortunately, until he dies. I can't fucking tell. Will you kill all those douchebags? I got a sick upgrade bone. yesterday, man. I got a sick upgrade yesterday. Bro. Uh, did I just did you... do that what I think I did? Oh, boy. Did you, did you see what I got from Rifts, Tony? <laughs> no. So, I ended up spending 400. I got, like, 10 or 11 legendary gems. And then on my last... After... I missed four runs, and then on my last run, I got a five of five consecrated will. Nice, your first five star. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, is it your first or your second one? Because you had one in the beginning. Uh, second. Yeah. Yeah, I got a seeping vial, but it's in the market now. Nice. See if I get max price for it. Nice. Uh, I did the poison on him, and then did the scythe, and all it did was said thirty-one thousand damage, um, which could be all of them put together. Because I was ticking for 10k a piece. But yeah. Like the well, you have to hit multiple out. dots. You gotta do poison, burn, bleed, whatever you could do. Well, the burn didn't work. Um, my burn, my burn soul fire didn't work on him. Because I did the bone wall on him and then shot him with the burn soul fire, and he was standing brittle on the bone wall. Look, hit, that's hitting that's the mortar for 30k though, it's a lot of, it's a lot. By the way, like if I get hit by 30k, I get scared. Like that's a big value to hit me. <laughs> And I'm, I'm only two. I was thinking 55, 60k. <laughs> I got some big damage numbers then. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. only 2k for that, but um, uh, so actually that was a week of mortal. Never mind. What the fuck is going on? What are yeah, they some, oh, somebody what? hits me for like 30, 40k. Like I'm my, like I'm searching to see if my leap button is available so quick so I can get the fuck out because uh, okay. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get hit for that much. I want to get hit for like 10k max. Yeah, when like the Crusader banner hits, I see a pretty big uh, crit numbers on mine. <laughs> but that immortal, I think that I'm watching right now, was pretty weak. That battle went pretty quick. Yeah. Damn, that I was didn't a, want a Thursday one. I was like, why am I still fighting the immortal? It, it went to the second stage where I become the immortal because <laughs> we beat him. <laughs> uh. Alright, uh, so poison. 3v3 afterwards. 
All right, so Poison 100%, yeah, it was in the 3v3s. I was sitting there solo watching all these people fight. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so Burn, Burn, uh, let me go actually get the uh, Essence. Let me go get the Soul Fire Burn Essence where I hit him and it keeps burning afterwards. Instead of having to do the Bone Wall, because then it would be more obvious. But uh, Poison 100% works. So Bone Spikes works. Um, 100%. Bone spike works 100%. The scythe pulled all of it into one big bang of damage. Um, you gotta get close to hit that motherfucker, though. That's insane, bro. If you can because get that to on, work, uh, it's on the shoulders, was it? Was it? No, it was on the main hand, wasn't it? No, it's on the pants. Pants, yeah, yeah. yeah. Continuous damage on the target is hit, causing them to instantly take the remaining damage of. of Blah blah blah. Grim sights reduced. Yeah. Yeah, I was debating using the main hand that um, hurls the uh, stiff, but then you only you don't get the two uh, the two charges, but it goes further. You don't have to be yeah, as close. Um, where's the what's the name of the shield that goes boom boom? It's a new one, right? The spit feeder. Yeah, it's this one. That goes over. Let me do that. Let me check my skill. Let me turn my skill. Let me turn it to the soul fire now. Bring back up here. I'm a grinder. You're a fucking grinder. Let's go. So, well, on the bright side, I know poison works. I don't know. I know continuous damage. Not all continuous damage works, though. <laughs> yeah, the ground damage. Does chill do damage over time, or is it just that it slows them down and that's it? Dude. I think it just slows them. That's what I thought. I don't think there's no continuous damage. So I think it matter if I can get to see if this fire works, then that means damage over time on fire works also. Yeah. Which wouldn't be a bad idea for people to know. That means right. they can- We're on the chest, damage. Tony. <laughs> uh, challenge this. I'm gonna go test this. Come on, let me in, bitch. I don't want to be in a part. No, if I leave party, it makes me leave. I wish I could go in here and fight him one on one, but not all these stupid ass things. Yeah. You have any That's right. So here we go. Kill everybody. Kill him. 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 I just need to hit you one time. You're not burning, are you? Yeah, I don't see any of my abilities burning him. Ah, uh, nope, there it goes. It's ticking. It's ticking. Yeah, it's only a 25% chance with the offhand. Yeah, it's ticking. It's ticking for 4,000 per burn. Okay. Yeah. So maybe just nobody was using any DOTs when I was testing then. I was kind of relying on talking other people's stuff, not my own, because I didn't have that much. The thing is, you have 30 people in a, in a match, right? And if you can get 30 people, like, what, happen, what happens, first of all, when, let's say, one person puts a bleed on him? Like, let's say if you have, like, five necros in, in the main battle, and one necro puts in a bleed, one necro puts in a poison, and then here comes another necro that cast, and then procs, and then he's going to put a bleed and a poison on that. What happens? That Does that immortal take two different poison instances damage over time or it refreshes his poison when somebody else casts on him again you, do you know what I i'm saying yeah i think it's per person i think each person gets their damage from their ability but then that's what i'm saying if that's like that then it's insane you should definitely try to use that grim build for somebody because one necro could be procking 30 different players damage over time on 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 the immortal and that and person that one, could be doing like a million damage you, right? on a fucking grim swing. That one ability just doesn't work for you. It's everybody's DOT. Um, it's whatever's on the immortal. Whatever's on, on the, the target. Enemy. Yeah, whatever's on the yeah. enemy. I think that's the oh like God. read the the text on the um on the leg essence. I think it's it says like it says. Yeah. And the crusaders know. have a one of the condemned things triggers all continuous damage too. 
Yeah. Like hey, you know the, you know the 3v3 you know after? Because <laughs> we made it to it again. They were all piled up in one big pile, right? And my burn damage hit, and then I grim sliced them, and they all instant died. <laughs> I just killed 29 people in like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. It, I just watched it proc, and all of them died instantly. <laughs> Well, that's good info to know now. So now I can update people tonight on the potency. If they do have, if they do use potency things, it would be a good idea to put potency gems on. So, and then we can upgrade some necros. Uh, we can upgrade some necros. The problem is with the necro is they got to get their ass up there, and they got to use that grim Scythe ASAP when all those procs are on there, because they got to chase that motherfucker down and be in melee range. In time because it also your potency matters to the immortal potency or resistance so if that immortal has got like 3,000 resistance and you got 1,000 potency it's not gonna last that long on there is that's good to know uh, I need to go over to discord and I need to tell salamander I need to go oh. over yeah, so I guess he didn't have enough continuous damage on him when I was testing her DOTs. Um, uh, so, the problem is also though is it might be different for main because that's more like a support battle what I just did. The support character might take different things than the main guy can. We would turn into a just jet. So this probably guarantees it for me in support group, but it doesn't guarantee it for me in the main. Um, it doesn't guarantee it for me in the main. You gotta make sure that that it works on the shadow war though, because that is again that is challenged immortal. That's not shadow war. So it's different. The immortal is different. What the immortal does is different. To be honest, I'm secured enough to now tonight to know that we have enough support neckers in there that are strong now because we got some extra ones that they can they can they can take up some of the dps that i'm missing i can take one of my abilities off um i could take what i could do is i could take the golem away tonight Looks and like i could put dt on and watch to see if my numbers tick oh yeah she is too she's a battle it doesn't show anybody else's numbers but my own i could try so to throw on the uh out. bone spikes instead of maybe the mages or something that's what I'm thinking of now. I might throw on bone spikes in the support group and see what it does. Because if so, that's ticking for 10,000. Well, in that in that battle, it was ticking to 13,000 per tick. And by the time I caught up to him and hit it, it was a 30,000 damage. And it ticks for three seconds, so three to five seconds. So that could be 30,000 to 50,000 damage in one big... <laughs> you know, that could be a nuke to his life. All right, I gotta switch something because I didn't realize I got a new helmet. Um, I don't know. I have the wrong fucking helmet on still on this build. Dangerous. I don't know why. It's very dangerous. Well, it's good information I'm gonna release tonight to everybody who shows up. Well, you gotta you gotta val verify and validate that it works first. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if it I'm doesn't gonna... work, it's a huge jump because I, we could. We no, I mean it's just a fact. All demon hunters are using the burn over time. Crusaders might be using the burn on the weapon. Necro might be using the shield on soul fire that does burn, which would be completely useless. Um Necros might be using bone spear, which also would be useless um on the on the blight maw. Um barbs if they're using the this awesome uh offhand on uh berserker that does burn over time would be useless. Like everybody has burn over time. And yeah. I need to go Shadow then, War. Where, do you remember in Gravity Barbecue where all the Shadow War builds were that we posted for the top classes? Um, uh, some of that might have been in the Greed uh, I Discord. Know it's, some of or, it is I mean, in the Gravity. Greed, I mean, I'm at the Gravity ones. <laughs> I know they're all in Gravity. I just don't remember where I posted them because I got so much shit in Gravity. Uh, you can search for them. To be honest, I'd probably need to bring over some of this information 
Yeah, we moved a couple over, and a couple are in the learning center. There is so much shit in this information, like cycle, draft guides, and greed. Oh my god, there's so much info in here. Uh, mine and Drazen might be in the old Amazing channel. Mm, officer recruitment. Good god, there is so much shit in here. Community info. There's shit in the community. That's Woot's old shit. Goddamn, Woot shit's in here. How about Vault? <laughs> uh, immortal event list. Wait, it could be an announcement if I remember correctly. Because I think I announced all those builds to everybody. Oh, well, I did. It's an announcement. Here we go. Here's the Seder build. Uh, I don't. The problem is I have the Seder build from Jake, right? But I don't know what these are. He just posts the picture of his gear. <laughs> and hold on, I'll screenshot it and maybe Tony can tell me what these gears are. That's what I'll do. Yeah. I'll screenshot it. I'll post it into our voice chat that we're doing right now. Okay. All right. And then here, here, here. Okay. This is uh this is Jake's Jake's build for whatchamacallit for where he gets like so much damage. He does a but ton of damage back in the day. He might have changed it up a little bit, but this used to be his old build. I just posted in our uh, in our little chat. Mm. I think, yeah. Um, no, just the basic crusader. That's uh, yeah. the banner moves with you. That's the uh, AOE uh, firing on the Conjuration of Light. That's additional duration on the banner on the shoulders. Um, the weapon, um, that weapon has, um, it's for movement. That weapon gives him uh, three dashes that he can use in a row back to back. Doesn't mm -hmm. do much damage. Uh, the no, shield, the good. shield, um, that shield, what he does every time he blocks damage, he does 3,000 damage AoE, which is really like a garbage on damage because the Crusaders are have a garbage skills, but that's the basic Crusader build if you're using Banner. Like when I used to run raids, like Warband raids, I would use that build, exactly. And these are, these are the abilities he uses. Or he did, I don't know if he's changed Well, up. with this build, I could tell you that he's using um the primary weapon the primary hit i could kind of see on that first picture you sent but the primary weapon is for the shield he's using little lens he's using holy banner he's using graduation of light um all I, and then his fourth skill i don't know what he's using maybe horse maybe drawing i think order. so I, I posted the picture right afterward for you whatever there's yeah <laughs> of course yeah exactly what i thought it was yeah it's yeah that's that's the basic crusader build yeah, that's his old build. I don't know if it's changed any, if he switched anything. Oh, yeah, up that's that's a PvE build. That's not PvP. I know that Paragon over there says Gladiator, but you don't do that build in Gladiator anymore. Like, if you do that build in yeah. Gladiator, you're just getting destroyed. Well, he uses Gladiator because of the, he doesn't want to die when he's up there, and it's the CC immunity and blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. So, I would I would have used Gladiator, also, too. I mean, that, that build and, would have been, the, that's a good build for Shadow War. I mean, that, I we, yeah. I used that build for Shadow War, yeah. Yeah, I think that's his build from... God, that's probably back in August or some shit. That's a while ago. Well, man. I wouldn't use the horse because the horse is, is kind of a waste. I would have used maybe like Shield Charge or something else different that actually does damage. There's another skill that he can use that gives movement and um, also does a lot of damage. Like the horse, it doesn't Isn't really that easier do to much. keep up with the Immortal then? Uh, the, the, the shoe charge, the shoe charge, not, not only you can use it to keep up with the immortal, but, um, also it does damage when you get to the immortal, the horse doesn't do any damage. The horse oh, yeah, is just using the base one. Yeah. Yeah. The shoe charge, at least it still gives you a charge and it still does a damage. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that horse. I, I can, I can definitely do more damage by yeah. putting shoe charge instead I of the mean, horse. I mean, I thought, um... I'll talk to him and see if he's updated any. Like I said, this build is like five months old. He so did it's some damage in one of the wars too, I think. The last war we did, he was like second damage. He did eleven percent or something. He was plus if was the um, if the immortal happens to use that first ability, the one that does the AOE uh, 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 spike thing, 
it will knock him off the horse. If he gets caught with the Fallen Sword from the Immortal, he will get knocked off the horse. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that the Immortal will cast that will knock him off the horse, and he would be, like, further away from the Immortal. So, like, the horse really wouldn't be as beneficial as Shield Charge. Well, it's good to know. I mean, I'll talk to him and see if he's updated this. He probably has. But this is just a really old build that we used back in... Uh, I, I, I made everybody who was top DPS, like uh, Draz used to be top wizard DPS, so I made him post his build, Barbecue posted his build that he did, um, Dodo posted his, Jake posted his, I had another monk, I think a monk posted, I have all the builds back there, but they're a little different now, I'm sure, so. I still use the same thing. I think you still <laughs> use the same thing, and I think wizards are still pretty much the same build. You want to be honest? Uh, after your guy, I watched your whole talk, right? About everything. Oh, <laughs> I think they're gonna buff. I think they're going to buff wizards, even though I don't think wizards need a buff. I don't care what other people say. No, that one girl, yeah, I agree with the you. Aiden girl, I agree with they you. They will melt a team that is low res it, because they're higher res, they don't see the damage. But you got some 3k players with a 7,000 resident player, like she was saying, with a crystal. There, guess what? You might live, but five of your teammates is dead, and that's five deaths on your ass instantly. Yeah. I don't think we're the buff. It, the the, the yeah, thing like, with oh, the wizards is that they're I do it sometimes when we're in the same battle. <laughs> wizard, wizard, wizard are great them. characters as it is. You just have to be a good player. Yeah. It's just like wizards yeah. are not going to be easy like the barb in the neck yeah. is. Like the neck is the neck row is kind of easy, right? You just it's kind of mm. easy. You just cast and you use fat. You you set. The wizard, yep. you gotta be fucking good. The same thing with the demon hunter. Now the DH is yeah, you can just auto shoot. Yeah, they're squishy, and demon hunters are super squishy because they don't have no shields or nothing like the necro, and even the wizard has. Yeah, but those guys on the talk were saying that demon hunter is the worst character in BG. I don't think that the demon uh, hunter is necessarily the worst. I think that the crusader yeah. is the worst. But um, yeah, he said the one girl said the Sade is the best character. Yeah, and I was I disagreed with some of their points. Because what they didn't think of is sometimes they need to think of lower res players. Yes. They don't need to think of them at yes. 7K. You need to think of an average player in the game, which is, let's just say the average player is around 20. Around my, we'll use my res. 2,400 is the overall average between whales and free-to-play. Around 2,000 residents, right? We'll say that, right? Because we got some free-to-play free play, play now. If you played enough, you're over 1,000 residents. And you got some people who put a little bit of money, just battle pass and stuff like that. You can get, let's say you can get up to 2,000 res, right? So they're not thinking of the average person out there in BGs. They're thinking of their standards for their whale battles and stuff like that. They're not thinking of the average. You got to look at who's at the bottom of the board every single time. Which yeah. Class. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to think of as, as being, what's too big? Yeah, you got to put yourself in the shoe of the most of the others. Oh, oh. Yeah, they weren't putting themselves in the shoes in that. They were just thinking of their, I'm 7,200 res, I'm 5,000 res. This is what us big boys, when we fight these classes, they're easy for me. And don't get me wrong. Wizard is, I agreed with DM, Wizard is the biggest pain in the dick in BGs. Because the invisible beam, there's two bugs, the invisible beam. If the beam wasn't invisible, it maybe be a little easier. And the same with the necro bugs. And other bugs that they were talking about, they definitely need to be fixed. Um, but even though well, I'm in that move and they can hit multiple people at the same time, like yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. yeah, and you're melting. Yeah, yeah I you can't run away from a, the thing. <laughs> I well, the reason I lost last night, it was a wizard based match, and they were all so I've never played the highest res player. I really think BGs put you no maximum more than 2,000 residents because last night the highest res player I was playing was around 4,400, and that's about 2,000 residents above me. So that's why I'm thinking I'm not seeing in my area. No matter how many matches I played, I was up 55 wins, all that shit. But either way, and like Barbecue said, it, it's probably because I am a low resident necro compared to most of our server. So other necros get to go against the 5Ks because there's more, more of them compared to like Elestra is like one. Even though he has 1600 res, there's not a lot of high res wizards. So that's why he gets to go in those high level BGs. But either way, beyond that point, last night I was getting fucking melted. I walked into a couple areas with a wizard, and I looked, and he was 4,400 res resident. And as soon as I walked in, he was my health gone instantly. I couldn't get away from it. Go, it didn't matter what I did. 
If he popped that crystal on me, I couldn't get out of that crystal range with that beam before he melted my life. And exactly what you don't have uh, Amber was saying. Do anything. Like, yeah, exactly what Amber was saying. I popped everything I had. I popped my bone armor. The only thing you can do is when they do that to you, is you have to go after them and pop bone spikes, knock them up, fear them something, stop their beam. That's how you stop a wizard. You can't run from it. Yeah. But if there's two or three people in the back line, you can't do anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then last night there was multiple wizards in our match, so there was more than just one wizard I had to stop. So it was kind of hard to I do. I saw wizards that, um, there was a wizard that was fought yesterday that this guy didn't even move. He just stood there. He had his, his, his frost armor on. He put up the crystal. He was using his beam and he didn't give two craps that it was there pounding on him. He just stuck, he just stood there. And, yeah. and, and I'm what went on top of this guy and he's not even taking damage because apparently the uh, frost armor is yep. absorbing something like i don't know like like 50 60 thousand damage yep it's about the same it's about the same as the bone armor um it's literally my about bone the same armor the bone wasn't sixty thousand damage though uh i think i think mine's like 35 or almost 40. If but I remember you have correctly. the strife debuff oh. too which it becomes even less yeah and that's the other thing i didn't know they they taught me something new i didn't know that melee classes have 40 damage percent reduction and be decent. I did, actually didn't know that. Didn't know that. Yep. Didn't know that me, the demon hunter, and the wizard don't get no damage reduction. That that makes a fucking monk even more strong. And I disagreed with them last night. I do think they do need to change the BGs up, but I don't think no matter what they do in changing the BGs up, the monk's still going to be overpowered. He should not have the ability to one-shot everybody. He should have the ability, yeah, he should have the ability to assassinate class like he's supposed to and go back and kill one dude. But he should not be killing five dudes with an ability, like they said. And, like, you walk past him and you die because you didn't even know he was on screen and you just walked back at the wrong time. And he had all the shit procked and both 65% damage plus his scaring whatever shield that shoots the six or eight circles out and it fucking kills you. Like, that's just ridiculous. He's not even aiming for you guys. So but yeah i i agree with some of their points but i definitely disagreed as a lower resident player in some of their points because they i think some of them did not see it at well amber saw it with the wizard because she she put it out there exactly she said yeah she goes the wizard's overpowered and it don't need a buff and she was 100 percent right because sugar rat and all of them were thinking oh it's not that big of a deal lita and then we're like yeah it's not that big of a deal well you guys are five to seven k res players so you're not a person you're not thinking about the rest of your team that's three thousand two thousand whatever that's in there your fillers yeah but, but let, let me, let me okay so i understand that's in there but let's say if you're speaking about the three the two thousand and three thousand wizard if the wizard gets above where the two thousand and three thousand wizard becomes stronger then do you know yep. the exponential destruction that a wizard that is a five to a seven thousand would do if the wizard get a buff yeah. out for if the low level wizard is getting buffed then the high level wizard would be like bro imagine what azurath and, yeah. and company would be doing like he, and they forget but the meta before this everybody hated wizards just because monks came out and became got this new buffs now they're the most hated but right before this people were bitching about the frost of the wizard the beams of the wizard the damage the wizard can put out is ridiculous in aoe it is absolutely ridiculous. The PvE, the part where they said it has the best AOE damage, is the same in in BGs. It's not no different. You got good damage in PoE, you're gonna have, or PvE, you're gonna have good damage in AOE or PvP too. It is literally the best AOE damage class. My fault. It hits hard. <laughs> it has shields. It has triple teleport. Yes, you can catch them in their teleport, but you catch one of them. You, even if you catch two of them, they still got a third one. Like, they're not easy to catch. If they want to get out, the way they play is play a little bit out of screen, put the beam, put the crystal as far as they can, hit that fucking beam, and then if you see, if they see you coming, they're teleporting away. You get them once, they're still going to try to teleport away. You got to get through all their team to get to them. They play back on. A yeah. good wizard's not going to be up in the front unless they're battle mage. But these, 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 well, if, but even if Battle Mage is the only build you can play, 
I mean, you can't buff wizard. I mean, these wizards, these high res wizards are destructive. Like, you really don't need to buff them. Like, if you buff yeah, wizards, they're going to be. Out, uh... What was that guy that. What's the guy? And it's not just Azeroth. There's a bunch of them. I just can't remember them all. There's there's a bunch of wizards that that are. Oh, uh, the that... high res wizard. Yeah. I was hoping his name would be brought up because all they did was bring up. You guys brought up Azeroth, but Azeroth Bradley. is. Uh... Yeah, Ezraf, he doesn't do beam no more. He, I don't think he likes beam because he don't thinks it's as challenging as much. Yeah, because even they mage. said last night to be a battle mage, you have to have a high skill cap. Sugar Rat put it correctly on that. It is not teleport in and expect to die. You need to know when your cooldowns are, how many balls you have. Like, you literally you have get, to And you can't miss shit. it. And you can't miss it. Otherwise, you're yeah. dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just like the necro playing know. with corpse lens. It's just like you having you to use your weight form going there. Like you got to time your shit right. Mm -hmm. You got to time everything right. You got to know when all your cooldowns are down. How many corpses no, you have on see, the ground? That's not you, an easy class to play. That's not an easy class to play. The, you know, because it's yeah. not an easy class to play, it doesn't mean you got to buff it to make it easy to play. Yes. Yes. No, you, you just got to learn to play the class, or you can't play the class. Then maybe that's not the class you should be playing. You know, go or you do that. You do. You do the non DPS build. Each class has an easy version, so the wizard yes. does have an easy version. They can put down the little invisible guy, the guy who shoots the frost beam out, and he does the work for him, right? Yes. And that's another guy that confuses you. Same with Necro. If you can't do, if you're not good enough to go in with the bone uh, corpse lance and all that shit, and then you die too much or whatever, you can't time your skills correctly. They have the CC version. So yeah. you sit back and CC the fuck. Like, every class has an easy version, and they have a complicated version. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't I, I don't know. I, I disagree with some of the comments they did last night. And DM, I think, disagreed too, but he doesn't, like, DM's not the part that's going to argue with you. He just wants people's opinions from all aspects, all sides, you know. But uh, I'm glad when I watched him type up a shit, he's like 7,200 resonant wizard OP. And yeah, I mean it is. Well, yeah, he's seventy two hundred. Anything that is seventy two hundred is OP. <laughs> anything a crusader no. is. Anything <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I disagree with them on the satyr too. The satyr is low to mid tier. It might be the worst slash second worst class. Um, I think satyr is the I number do, one worst class, man. I think satyr is the number one worst. Seder does have some good skills if you time them correctly with the immune shield and can change something in a support aspect with their pull in and their rubber banding where they pull people halfway across the map because I do believe that I've seen that a million times. The rubber band pull. I'd be like three screens that way and all of a sudden I'm back in the battle like what the fuck and I die. Um, uh, but the Seder is by far, I don't, it might be the worst class. I don't really, all the other classes I feel are very equal. I feel the monk's a little overpowered. I feel now this is something you guys didn't recommend. You know, another way you can stop the barbs undying rage being so overpowered. Oh. Put some type of gold shield over him like everybody else does. That way, when his undying rage procs, everybody knows he has it up. Nobody can tell when he has it up. I can oh, tell no, when he, you're he needs, he needs to have a way to be identified. Yes, there needs to be yes, a way to be identified. Identification. Identification. That will make it a big difference. If there's an identification for it, People will know, okay, he's got his fucking undying rage up. I'm not going to fight him. I'm just going to get away from him. Or I'm going to fear him. Or I'm going to see him away from me. There's no point. And then when that shield goes down, they go, okay, now it's time to attack. The same as when you try to CC uh, a monk. Or the same as when you're attacking a satyr, you have that big gold shield around him. I know not to waste my corpse lance on him. I have to guess. Like, when their life's low on mobile, it's really hard. Because sometimes you think their life's down. And they're in that undying rage. And they haven't even got to their undying rage yet. So, I mean, like, they need some type of identifier for that ability. That would be a big help, in my opinion. Well, it's also. not just for, for so. other players, but for me, too. Because, to be honest, there are times that I don't even know if my shit is up or down. Yep. Because if I knew yep. it was down, I wouldn't stay there fighting. I would run away and maybe bandage. When I think it's yeah, down, I don't know, I'm still there fighting. And the next thing you know, when I take a hit, I die. You know, like... Yeah, put, it, put the motherfucker... You put the motherfucking red... Put a red bubble around it. You know, or something. Like, shit, go yeah. ahead and put yellow. Put the yellow bubble around like all the rest of them. They all pink, got yellow, purple, so purple green. Yeah, something. You can't interrupt because it um, it auto triggers when they're low on health. It's not like yeah. it's really got to proc. Everything else you can interrupt. You can't interrupt that. You just need to be identified. 
I would love to know when I have it up and when it's down. I'm not super hungry. I can bullshit food. Do you want? Is there? There's still. Is there a pizza in the freezer still? I, I'm not super hungry. I can bullshit eat. Well, we can go to Walmart and grab some junk, but we don't. I don't. We don't need to buy anything to cook anything serious like fish or anything like that. Maybe get some milk because we're out of milk. Because I, I can eat some cereal tonight and I'd be happy. I can eat my Cheerios. I can eat some Cheerios and just be good with it. Cheerios I'm for not dinner. Super hungry, really. <laughs> yeah. I'm healthy, man. I got to eat healthy. <laughs> Cheerios is the most healthy food there is out of all the cereals. Really? And I, yeah. It is the most healthy food, uh, the most healthy ce uh, cereal there is. Cheerios. As long as you don't add sugar and all that shit on it. I Technically, yeah, it is really good that way. When I was a kid, that's all I used to do. But it ruins it. Technically, it is healthy for your heart. The oat, it's like an oat is what it is, technically. So a lot of people don't like Cheerios, but it is by far the most healthy cereal for you to eat. I learned that through bodybuilding. And especially if you add strawberries in it like it is on the package, it's super healthy for you. But a lot of people ruin Cheerios because they get the honey ones or they get the, they add sugar on it. Like I, when I was a kid, I used to put sugar on my cereal and then mix it up, you know. Oh, but the honey is good like, for you. It is. Honey is, but the, the problem is that the sugar they add in, the extra. It's not the honey. It's what they add to the cereal with it. The stuff they don't, if you don't read the box, they tell you about the extra stuff they add in. But supposedly, if you eat a bowl of Cheerios a day, those commercials back in the day were 100% true. I learned it through bodybuilding. It is very good for your heart. Very good. Bowl it. High in fiber, high in everything. Like, it is very good. It is one of the, like, oats, you know, all, it's like, a, it's literally like making oats. And I'm not a big fan of oats, but Cheerios, I can, I can stand for sure. It's some things I learned about bodybuilding. The one thing I need to learn about, I know, but I need to cut out soda. What's up, Cody? I just, so. Bowl of Cheerio a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, just like an apple. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you got milk. So you put milk in it and milk's super healthy for you. Oh, you need milk's to have, uh, what is it? A dairy serving of milk daily, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great for your teeth, your bones, everything. Like it, milk's just good all around for you. It strengthens. I like whole milk. I I, I used to drink a lot of two percent, and then I had my daughter, yeah. and then she needed to drink whole milk, and I started drink whole milk again, and it's so good. That's a red lid, right? Um, I get the uh the carton organic one. Oh, whatever. Okay. okay. Yeah, milk's really good. I don't care to be honest, fat free, two percent, any of it. It's all good technically. Because even, even though some of it has more sugar and mixes and things in it, it's just good in general. What, baby? What? Sorteia um via do código aí por sábado. Sou pobre. Sou pobre também em verdura. Well, you maybe want to have a bowl of cereal. I do raisin bran crunch with almond milk. <laughs> raisin bran. What you need to do is raisin bran. The regular one kind of gets too soggy real quick, but the crunch one is good. Look, what you need to do, baby, is ask Cameron and tell him to give you a screenshot of his schedule. That way you know. Just ask him to take a picture of it and send it to you. But, yeah, definitely. If you all want some bodybuilding tips or healthy food tips that taste good, I can help you out. I need to burn 10% of body fat. You want 10% body fat or you want to I want burn 10%, 10%? I want 10% body fat gone. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if you want 10% body fat, the only way to actually achieve that is literally chicken, rice. That's it. And then you have to actually do a, uh, you have to do like a 24 to 72 hour occasionally every single week of no eating except straight protein drinks it is very hard to knock down low mm, i could do that that's bad. doable for me i've been i've i've, I've actually good. lost i've lost i lost 20 pounds bro since i started streaming i lost 20 pounds by switching my diet like being more at home and not going out to eat oh going out to eat kills everybody the only place that's technically healthy to go out to eat one of the most other than a salad bar or something like that um is like chipotle, chipotle it's actually really good yeah. for you. yep Chipotle is very good for you. Um, this is something that a lot of people don't realize. So people get tired of eating chicken and rice all the time. That's what I used to oh, eat all the time. I eat that every day. single day until I grow but, feathers on my ass. I don't care. 
what you do with it is condiments calories you can put a fuck ton of condiments on it and it calories on the condiments is not very high it is like 25 per serving and almost like like 25 calories per serving you can fucking soak your shit in like ketchup honey mustard whatever you like we're just using those as some mayo garlic whatever. cilantro can, those are yeah. very very yeah. color calorie yeah. heavy i don't know if you have a uh, pollo tropical where you at yeah. we have these chains down here that have that sells like you know white rice black beans and rotisserie chicken and it's so delicious yeah yep. i could eat that every single day bro. <laughs> Rotisserie chicken's amazing. High in protein, very high in protein, very low in calories. Protein is amazing in general. If you over, the goal, it, to honestly, what you're supposed to do if you want to lose weight is you want to eat. So say, let's say you're 100 pounds. We're just using that as an example. You want to eat 75 pounds of protein. So you want to eat three fourths of your body weight in protein because protein burns slower. It takes longer to burn. It's not insulin like all the fats. 75 grams, sorry. You do it by grams, not pounds. Um, so you want to do, um, bro. yeah, yeah. She she said the same thing, but uh, so fatty is insulin, which is harder to get rid of. Protein also fills you up. So when you eat a lot of protein, you're not hungry. Yeah, really. You eat that insulin, and you continue to have hunger, even though you have that feel filling for a little while. And also, you're supposed to eat not big meals. So you know how they say eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh no, I don't want meal that day sometimes no it's not even that what you're supposed to do is literally make small meals and yeah, do it over portion the course control of the day. blah blah yeah, blah yep. and i don't have yeah, i don't do all that either that. i just i don't do the macros micros what i do is by calories i did my bmi my bmi is 2800 for me to maintain my body weight so if i want to gain weight i have to eat more than 2800 calories a day if i want to lose weight i do less depending how many calories below you eat is how many pounds you lose a week so like every 500 calories below is a half a pound so it's a lot like <laughs> say you're allowed of 3,000 calories you eat 2,000 you only lose a pound a week that's why losing weight takes so long and people do the starving method uh sure that's why they do the no eat for 72 hours that's how bodybuilders cut so quickly for their for their builds i think i'm gonna do that i eat for 72 hours the first they say the first month of it is hard like your stomach will be like you're super hungry eat 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 bitch um but when you are those days you are allowed to eat you're supposed to eat a lot of protein because it burns slow it takes a while it stays in your body better um so what you do after about the first month of your body gets used to the not eating for that and then it's fine and you don't you don't crave as much so I can teach you everything about bodybuilding <laughs> I had um I had my second I love. actually had I had um I'm very, I know a lot about it. I I had um events placement weight training class in high school. It was my last curriculum class as a senior. And I had to do an extensive amount of research and write papers on. I walk past the milk when you milk or is over here. Uh -huh. Oh. All right, all right, guys. I'm at a grocery store, so I'll get on with you all in about 20 minutes when I get out of here. I'll get back on chit chat. The hey, number, cool. the number one uh, trick is not to go shopping when you're hungry. Oh no, no, I'm here for you. I'm getting protein shakes, milk, cereal, shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go anywhere. It's just deal with it, and about 30 minutes later, your hunger will go away. Yep. 30 minutes to an hour, and it, that that that, well, that it takes 15 minutes. The moment you consume something, it takes 15 minutes for your brain to get the signal from the stomach to yeah. say that it's not hungry. Yeah. So Another big thing is popcorn. You want a snack? Eat popcorn. Popcorn, yes. I'm. I, yeah. I have been doing very that. Good. There's these healthy organic very, popcorns. Very My daughter yeah. got me into it. I, I have too much butter and salt on it. Oh no. Yeah. Pop, popcorn's amazing. Freeze. There's this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you later this popcorn bacon. I'm gonna send you a picture of this popcorn. Is super healthy. You can buy them everywhere, and they're delicious. Uh, yeah, I'll take one. I'm gonna get my protein drink real quick. Um, this will last me a week. So, all right, all right boys. Well, I'll catch you in like 15, 20 minutes. I'm only five minutes from the house, but it'll are you take are you ever gonna do here. vault with us, bro? I've been trying to invite you for a vault match forever. Because <laughs> every time vault hits, it's when I'm cooking. <laughs> I don't ever get to do it anymore. I don't even have a vault build it up anymore. It's 
all my stuff mm -hmm. is there, but I just haven't, uh, my gear is not extracted in that category. Because <laughs> of how long it's been since I've been able to do it. Uh, but I'll try. Uh, what time is it? You got raids too, right? Yeah, we're going to do that after Shadow War today. And then we're going to go back to Thursdays, just doing Thursday raids. So we don't get everybody confused to fight. We'll just do it at 10 instead of 930. Because Barry acts at 10 o'clock, he'll be done and be home. So Thursdays, we can keep it. Just well, go a half hour later. I thought we only skipped the, the timing because people were traveling or whatever. It was Barry Act. Barry Act has a group um, on Thursdays around that time. So and I was just tired, so I failed early. Yeah, yeah he was like, good, was I can go back. to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so the next two months, Barry acts got a little group going on around that time, and he doesn't get home until about 9.30-ish. And he says by the time he gets done, gets home, gets in, they won't be ready until about 10. So we can just change it to 10 on Thursdays. Got it. Keep the same day. I, I mean, what we should do, don't you guys do purges twice a week? Uh, Well, we do a lot. We do about a, we do a thousand purges, I guess, Monday. And then after we do raid on you do a thousand purges yeah you mean 25 purges right yeah 25 oh, purges were a thousand points we do a thousand yeah, points yeah, a thousand of purges. Point. okay i was about to say a thousand purges is a lot <laughs> the 25 <laughs> purges and then after the raid i guess um after the raid we do a little bit sometimes i guess you should set up two days like monday is strictly 25 per day and then maybe do a friday is like well, strictly another the, the 25 past two weeks the past two weeks we did Urge See, but the time you guys do is hard for me. I would join to help you all, but that timing is not good. Like it's from seven to like almost nine is my hardest time to play. Anytime after we did it, before we, is not bad. By the way, this we only did this two weeks in a row, and the past two weeks that we have done it, done this, we done it in forty five minutes. Or the the this week we done it in faster because we got lucky on yeah. the remnants. We only had to go to the third wing once. Um, yeah, so yesterday when I was running with you, every time I chased with you all, you all didn't get the remnants on the first first boss. Mm -hmm. When I stayed back and only let two or three of you go in there, remnants were popping left and right. Oh, then do I that every time, bro. So <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, like, I noticed that. Like, every time I've been in with you all, every time I go in to the first area, we always have to go to the second area if there's four or five of us and they're searching for it. When there's only, like, two or three of you and some of us AFK in the start, it literally you guys grab the green thing every time on the first layer it seems you don't have to no, not everybody needs to go all we need is like one person really because one person can down the boss we're all strong enough mm -hmm. yeah i mean you send two that way yeah. you know you send two that way if you guys can separate and then one person gets there they can down it down yeah so, but go i'll hit you how was, your how was your karaoke stream? I was busy cooking yesterday, bro. I had my daughter's birthday today, and I was making desserts and cookies and things for kids. And all I know is I'm getting watch notifications from, like, discords. And then it's like, Bacon Sid, I'm doing drunken karaoke tonight. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I had a good BG session for the yeah. first time in, like, days. So I bought some press. I bought a wagon yeah. and the magnate pack. And then I did ridiculous out of... I think I had a couple other over, so I did 10 crest runs. Okay. And I hit, the first one was white, the second one was yellow, then I hit six in a row whites, and the first one of those had, had two whites in it. <laughs> wow. Then I hit like one yellow and then two more whites. And like when I was doing the last run, I was like, if I hit another white, I'm buying another wagon. And I hit it, so I got another wagon. <laughs> and it was just amazing. And then off my last run off those 90, I had four yellows, and then the fifth one was the five of five consecrated will on my last run. Nice, nice, nice. And then I started doing karaoke after that because I was like just in shock. <laughs> nice. You just had to get them done, get her done. Yeah. <laughs> good. I was like, that was my first good BG match. I was like, yeah, I'm feeling lucky. Might as well buy some riffs. <laughs> And uh, did you get any duplicates that you need? Are you going to rank up anything or you just got things to sell? Um, well, I got my chip to rank 8 the other day, so I already bought a bunch of those. And then I think I'm going to take the chip to 10. Oh, man, you need 18 times 2. You need 32 duplicates. Yeah, 36, I think. And I got 2. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. But if I can Thursday, sell that, yeah. um, consecrated will at a decent price, so I can get like at least ten out of that. Yes. Yeah. It's that was that was what helped me, man. Getting that five star saving bow that really helped me. Really, really help me. And I would also maybe want to spend. I was debating it. There was a bottled hope five of five up for 384k. What? Like, yeah, but I had like 10,000 platinum. I was like, I don't know if I want to drive drop what? 500 bucks just for that. So I ended up doing rifts instead. <laughs> no, that was cheap. That was super cheap. Yeah, that's like if that happened a week ago, I would have insta bought that. <laughs> wow. That's super cheap. I gotta, I'm gonna go back and look right now, cause damn, that was cheap. Yeah, it went up. I think a little before midnight, it was up. It was at 300, and you had the platinum. I would have just bought that to flip it in two days. Yeah, I didn't have the platinum though. I would have had to spend like 520 bucks to get enough platinum. You would have turned 500 into 800. Well, not really, cause then you lose. You only really take home 544,000. Yeah. But I'm hoping I can sell that uh, consecrated will at close to max price. <laughs> Is there have any you seen how the much store? those have been going for? No. No, I think mine's the only one. Didn't sell yet. <laughs> Is it a max? Yeah, I have it at 640. I'm gonna throw a like in there for you. Maybe some people will think we'll get scared and then try to buy it quicker. Concentrate. Well, there it is, 640. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think the lowest I would want to go is like 450. I'd be happy with that. For that gem. Since there's not that many, and a lot of people, I guess, have been buying and leveling because it's cheap. Because people do chase just the resonance, right? Um, I think at 600, you would sell it. Yeah, like, I'm going to keep it up for the two days each time, and if it doesn't sell, I'll go down, like, one notch or something. I'm not in a rush to sell it, so... Don't be. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like <laughs> me, man, selling Chip of Stone Flesh for 180k two of them oh my god what a mistake i'm patient yeah that was too early on we didn't know what we were doing then that i wish me. i would have bought this that was way too early <laughs> so. difficult times man it was difficult times then yeah, but I got this new extension. It's uh, streaming avatars. And everyone gets their own little like character that like runs around the screen and you can interact with it from the chat. Oh, what? I want to do that. Um, <laughs> I had to buy it from uh, Steam. It's actually a game on Steam. Okay. And it was 15 bucks for the game and then 5 bucks for all the DLCs. So there's one thing that I'm trying to do to make um, to make King happy. I'm trying to do something for King. Because King, you know, he tells me because, you know, King watches me a lot and because I do stream a lot. And then he has all these channel points for me. And then he's like, come on, bro. I want to do something for all these channels points that I have. And there's nothing that really you can do with the channel points besides creating like emojis, emotes, which I already have you created. Make thing. I, I just became a Twitch affiliate today, so I've been playing around with all that stuff too. <laughs> yeah, I just need to learn more from it. But I saw last time I was in, um, 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 it was a morning stream that Clockwork was doing. And you were there, you were doing BG with him. And um, there was, he has these things on his channel that I you can use the points and it does a little voice. And since I have my stream deck that does the noises, the voices... I want to do that, you know, like for the, the viewers yeah. so they can so, like. So in your creator dashboard, go to viewer rewards and then channel points. And hold, then... On. hold on, let me do that. Let me do that. The creator dashboard. There were so many cool stuff. Have you played with the OBS page yet? The OBS page has some really cool shit. No, not yet. <laughs> um, all right. So a uh, video producer. No. So my, um, viewer rewards channel points and then click that manage rewards and challenges manage and rewards and challenge 
you can do custom rewards and add your own stuff and pick how many points it is and like put in your own description so i made like a karaoke one one to like play with the cat and like have a drink five star yes vog i sold back i mean back in the days before the chip of stone flesh was as amazing gem as it is today I had two five out of five chip of stone flesh and nobody used to buy those gems back in the days and i sold them for 180 000. two of them it was the worst worst thing ever uh king swali says to tell bbq he says hi bbq is here he's watching you king <laughs> hanging out last night <laughs> you're hanging out yeah i'm actually super happy with the amount of people today by the way worked like five in the morning <laughs> i mean yeah uh... it is 5 p.m to 5 a.m shifts <laughs> or something crazy i'm actually very very surprised and very happy with the amount of viewers that the game has right now like tiny penny has 96 views. like i love seeing streamers with that high numbers man that's really really good yeah it's nice um because yeah, like I'm for us to, to become for us to become partners we need to have an average of 75 viewers um on our streams and we can even do that because there isn't that many viewers that watches you know that participates or even plays diablo i guess yeah. my average views right now is like five or six yeah, so to get to the next page, the next phase, you like there's a few things you gotta do between like you know the time of streaming, the total stream hours, and the days of streaming, blah blah blah. All that stuff you get it, that's easy. The difficult part is getting 75 people on average per stream. That's the difficult one. stuff king that's and and that's why it's also very very important for like us streamers to like try to help each other and like keep rating each other you know like if we're gonna be done don't just like oh goodbye everybody and then shut down you know like it's better to keep sending bouncing the the, the viewers around because maybe a viewer would relate with one of the other viewers and you maintain you retain that you know that person there and then it helps bring more people in and it's just like there's a there's an algorithm to, to it, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to set up a sound alert for my subscriptions now, and then I was gonna start streaming. So for that, I um, you do that through the OBS website. I'm using sound alerts. I set up one for follows and for raids already. Okay. I do the subscription one. But it's not letting me upload a new sound from YouTube. I did the other ones from the you can just grab a part of a YouTube video. But I don't know if I'm taking videos that are like mature content, so it's not letting me or something. <laughs> you Annoying me, I've been trying to do this for like half an hour. <laughs> it's not working. I always rage people, man. I don't think I've ever shut down. I think the only time where, like, I ended a stream without raiding somebody is because my computer froze and I decided, like, not to raid after anymore. But it's, like, every single time if you check for every single stream that I've done in the past, I always pass it down to somebody, you know, trying to help out. I tell them to go follow them. <laughs> Where's the option for that? I don't even know if I can do that yet. To do what? To raid somebody all you do on the chat channel your chat your own chat you type slash raid space and then the name of the channel that's all you do so for example if you want to okay. if you want to raid me but you have to have the same spelling and you can't mess it up okay right so slash raid my name as it, so usually what i do is like i'll i'll 
like I'll click on Diablo Immortal and I'll see a refresh and see who's streaming. And then I see, you know, somebody and then I will just like, cop, I'll like, I'll go to their stream first. I'll click on the stream first because uh, one of the things that um, I think it was a key is kind of taught me this because key is, was trying to do a raid for me once. And on my beginning days of raiding of uh, twitching, I had it. So my chat, the only way that people could talk to me on the chat was if they were followers. Right. And, um, and then key is wanted to raid me and, and then he did raid me, but then his, viewers couldn't really talk to me and relate to me because they had to follow to be able to talk and i guess that's a little you know it's a little too aggressive like you, you force somebody to follow you before they can talk to you and then there's a 10 minute cooldown um before somebody can message you after they follow you so like by the time that these people can talk to you you're, you're already done with what you were doing so like becomes a bad experience i guess yeah i turned all that off and like, was that you who rated somebody who had the sub only chat? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think I've ever done sub only. Like, that's crazy. Oh, uh, yes, I rated yeah. somebody and that person had sub only. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we couldn't even talk. <laughs> yes. I rated this guy. I tried to help out this guy out. I ran through 20 plus viewers to him and he had sub only. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god. Like I'm not subscribing just to say hi. <laughs> so that's why usually I'm, I'm, I, I'll open the person. Uh, Twitch and I make sure that I can like you know talk and then I'm like all right then I'll just copy his his username and then go to my chat channel and then thank everybody slash read <laughs> <laughs> thank you big dog appreciate it man thank you thank you Um, yeah, man, I'm happy seeing Tiny Penny with that much views. Awesome. And holding it. And I've seen a lot of numbers from overseas, too, man. There's so many foreign people from Europe, from South America, from Brazil, from Spain, like in Spanish. There's a lot of Spanish people lately. That's kind of cool. It's growing, it's growing. 200 viewers. That's like twice the normal. <laughs> About time. We gotta double that now. We gotta get to 400 people viewing Twitch. Oh, today's a big day. There's Shadow Wars all around. Saturday's a big day for us. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get the stream stuff finished so I can start streaming. Sure, dude. Get it going. I want to see the fight from your perspective. Yeah, and this, uh... This avatar thing is pretty fun. Like I got Marvel characters, Dragon Ball Z How do characters, I do it? Naruto. How do I do it? You said I have to get it through Steam? Uh, yeah, so there's an extension and then that'll show you where the link is in Steam. It's a uh, streaming avatars is the extension. And it was 20 bucks to buy it. And then you can do a game capture on Steam with a transparent background to put it on top of everything. Oh. What, what, and there's like, but how did you, you find like, it though? Like, what took you to it? Um, I've seen other people with it, and I was kind of looking up, and then I was talking to Tox, and he was like, "This thing was awesome, and you can like, you can start like boss battles and stuff, and there's like slot machines, and the, there's a bunch of different chat commands, so you can move your character oh around, God. like jump and attack and stuff." <laughs> I just and did I a in, like, search for Twitch in in the in the um, I just put in Twitch in the um, store. And all the stream avatars. Jesus, there's so many Dang. applications and modifications for Twitch. Really? <laughs> there's a Twitch tot for 18 plus, 18 and over. <laughs> Girls in bathing suits that you can play Candy Crush. Yeah. 
Which box? Which place? One hundred player Twitch chat party. What? Emote farming simulator with Twitch integ integration. Easy. All right. So, what was the name of your application? Stream avatars. Yeah, that's what it's called in Steam, and I think that's the extension. Oh, that's uh, fourteen ninety nine, right? Yep. Oh, it's pixelated. Five bucks for the DLCs. And there's a ton of different DLCs for like Pokemon and like Naruto, DBZ, One Piece, and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> got like all the Smash Bro characters and I got Rick and Morty stuff. <laughs> oh, I love Rick and Morty style. <laughs> I love Rick and Morty. And then I set it up so you just have to follow my channel and you get an app and be in the chat and you get an avatar. But do they get to make their own avatars? Um, yeah, they can pick from the list I have. Oh, okay. And then some of them have like gear upgrades and they like level up and you can earn like points and stuff. And then you can also buy stuff from the shop with bits and then you get 80% of it and 20% goes to the Steam game developers. I haven't played around with all that stuff yet. But then some of the mods don't have the gear upgrades and stuff. Which kind of sucks. You might have to use like the Blockman thing for the gear. And you can start like a boss battle or there's a basketball thing and a battle royale. And a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Got so many things. Oh, yeah. OBS is much better than the Twitch platform. You could do a lot of stuff with OBS. Six o'clock, PG is about to open. PG is about to open. Oh my God, I already captured the weekly battle pass points. Well, I guess I should have capped it Saturday. I don't even think about that. I have to do six elders. Can I do elders? I haven't done elders in a while. Maybe I should do elders. OBS is on me. It's funny, they can cap our battle pass, they can cap how much experience we get, but they, they cannot cap how much resonance and growth a character could have. If they did, I think this game would have a lot more users. It should have prevent having people flying to 7,000 residents overnight. Think so? Yeah, man, because if you if you force if you prevented everybody from flying to the top, you would have had a lot more um, lanes uh, yeah, that would have kept up with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like you would have been more. Like, that's how most mobile, other mobile games are. Yeah. But then if you pay enough, you can get past that wall. So everyone else would be stuck. Oh. Well, except for them. <laughs> they don't want to cut people off from spending money. Of course. Huh. 
that Twitch, um, there's a free application on, um, I mean, I already have, I, I have this application called uh, Chatty that you can get that it handles all my chat and also gives me like little sound notifications for every time somebody sends a message so i don't miss it um, uh, okay. but it's cool but on steam they have something called twitch bot and that sounds really cool too like it's a nice way to manage your chat i'm not gonna get it because hmm. i already have this chatty but it sounds interesting What? You gotta look at this Twitch thought. 18 plus. This girl takes off her clothes. How does Twitch allow that to happen? <laughs> That's insane. Uh, what do you use for that little follower goal thing? Um, the actual, actual Twitch itself. So, um, go to, um, go to your, uh, stream manager, right? So go to your Twitch page, click on uh, video producer, and then go on the stream manager while you're streaming. It doesn't, I, I don't even think it matters if it's while you're streaming or not. And then um, you have uh, this quick action uh, thing on the right, oh, okay. and you have the little plus button that you can add quick action. One of those on that plus button, you can add a bunch of stuff. You can add um, polls. You can add. Um, it's how you manage your ads because you have ads throughout that the viewers experience throughout you know being on twitch so you can manage there your ads you can manage how frequently you want the ads to be viewed you can manage how, um like intervals between ads uh, you can manage it like for example i have it so if somebody's uh subscribes they don't watch ads like they have ads free for subscribers right so um that's a cool way to you know like People they enjoy and want to participate, or they're gonna do a sub. They don't. It doesn't cost anything. Um, you know, if it was like an Amazon Prime or something like that, they already have. Costs nothing. And then they have no ads. Um, yeah. So that's one way. You manage. Um, there's an there's one that i have there called say it live like on my stream if you, when you go to my stream you should see like when you're watching my stream by the way you should see some some uh things that are over the screen you see that like some rollovers yeah a couple of those icons were broken i think i might have to install something like on the my stream, a couple of the icons are broken. Yeah, I think I might have had to install something to get the images. Well, I don't think it's you because I see them broken on mine as well. Oh, okay. I gotta figure out how to not have them to be broken. One that I have broken, I guess. Oh, BG just opened. Let me get my PvP gear on. I got a new essence that I needed it. Um, you can also do a rage channel from that quick. Um, from that, yep, I just saw that. from the yeah. quick. Um, 
and you you can only but you can only raid channels that I guess you follow as well. Ah, uh, okay. Right, so you know where um, that's why, like, when you don't follow the person, um, you can just type. You can just go to your chat and type in slash raid the person's name. Um, but anyway, the manage goals is the one that I use in there and yeah, I use manage goals. I have a followers goal and then you have a subscriptions goal. Um, I really need a subscription. Does it, show, does it show subscription go on my screen now? It should show subscription. Yep. Yeah. I'm so low today. Oh, I see. Then you do the browser source for it. That makes sense. Wish we could re-roll magical attributes, man. I'm getting there with my essences. I'm getting there. What we know causes you to spin and charge forward. No. Hammer of the Ancient. No. Lacerate. Now it flicks a bleed. That's what I need. I do need the different legs. The one that ground stomp. No. Leap also grants a shield. I'm stomp now rips open the ground. No. You better leg essences. You sprint. Well when pulls enemies in wrath. How come I don't have two? What is this? Whirlwind energy. I'm slower. Wrath of the Berserker cool down. This is sprint. This is sprint. This is Breath of the Berserker. And Lacerate. I'm about to level up one of my gears. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Nice. Yes, sir. Got the follow girl goal set up now. Nice. Yes, I have three pieces of 24. I got three left now. Oh, that brings my CR up. 
So I started this stream at 13,130. Right now I'm at 13,140. I have gained. Well, I gained a little bit on the uh, war band, on the um, raid I helped as well, but still. Let's update that. You gotta update that stream title now. And you can update your stream title anytime you want. Um, by using like you got to learn how to use so on the obs you can put tabs inside of tabs inside of tabs and you can have like little tabs like you know in excel you have the tab on the bottom that you can switch between like tabs you have the yeah. same thing in obs so you can maximize your screen like right now i have um like a twitch activity feed where you see when somebody follows you and stuff like that I have stream information and I have the multi streaming feature that I'm using all in one like location in the OBS because it helps like maximize the screen space. Um, yeah, I feel like I need a fourth monitor at this point with all the stuff I have open. <laughs> oh, this, this is where this helps you. You don't want to get an extra monitor. <laughs> oh, I have one. <laughs> I just have to like set it up in the right spot. <laughs> well, then you're going to drag your performance down. Well, because I have the OBS on one thing, and I'm usually playing music off Chrome, and I have like Discord, and watching other people's streams and the game going. <laughs> I do want to have another sh another screen for that, though. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind having another screen just to have. Remember the website that I uh, showed you uh, called uh, Twitch TV? Yeah. So, like, I would love to have another screen just to have. I mean, I have a buttload of screens, uh, stream, uh, screens. I just, so the screen that I have now, I'm using this because it's like a minimalistic side, but the setup that I had before this was a six screen monitor. Like I have this, this, uh, screen stand because I used to like day trade a little bit more. Like I used to trade a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I've seen those before. So I have six screens, dude like three below three on top like thing goes in crazy so i used to use that before i got this monitor that i'm using now Looking up the big and sounds that they already have, and they're ridiculous. <laughs> what I just listened to was rub some bacon on it. <laughs> I'm a subscription, so I have so we we have these extensions. So that those broken things that you see, right on my on my thing on the right, like over the overlays, um, on your on your um. When you go to your channel and you go to your um, stream manager, you have on the bottom underneath charity, you have a tab for extensions. And on that extensions, you have like, you can add a bunch of extensions. Like that you, you don't need to go to, to steam. You don't need to go like anywhere else. Like there's a bunch of extensions that you can get through there. I have one extension that's called say it live that people can send bits and they can type whatever they want to type. And then a voice will say whatever they said it, like whatever they wanted to say. Okay. like i don't know if you've seen like there's this one girl she's very popular on on, on ig like a good looking girl nerdy english girl and there's like some of her followers go there and they send like pickup lines to her um on the say it live and it's super funny like super funny um but yeah so that's that extension 
but and you can see it there like if you go over the if you put the mouse over my stream underneath the prime loot reminder there's a thing that says say it live but when you click it like by any chance when you click it do you see a super tiny window that you can't read anything or is or to you like when i click it on mine it's a super tiny window and i can't see anything i wonder if it's the same thing for you Could you check that for me? Which spot was that? It's that last part. Sorry. Um, when you roll over over my stream, one of the the things right. on top, you should see three things okay. or four things, but one of them is called "Say It Live." I see like a broken icon and over where your skills are. It has like not that one. Cards, scratchers, redeem coins. Not that one. It's it should be above to the right. Where you have Streamlabs, you have Prime Subscription Reminder, and you should have Say It Live. The Whispers. Mm -hmm. I don't see that. You don't see it? I have to use bits? I don't have bits. No. You don't see nothing? You don't see a prime loot reminder? Oh, I see new prime loot. But you don't see, you don't have something that says say it live? Nah. You are replacing an active extensions performing this action will cause the following extension to be deactivated. Prime subscription and prime loot reminder and extension component replace. That is a new panel. Oh, I see it in Chrome. I guess my Firefox is outdated. Yeah, I see it when I go to watch you in Chrome instead of Firefox. But when you click on it, is it small? So I have to hover over your video part and then it slides in from the right side. Yeah, but then when you click on top of it, is the box tiny? Um, I'll screenshot it for you. Because mine is like super crazy tiny. Here, I'll show, like, I'll, I'll turn on my. Not this one. I'll show you what how it shows on mine. Look, this is how it looks on mine. Now look at my stream. Oh yeah, that is really tiny. It's like super tiny. Yep, that's the same on mine too. It's super tiny, right? I don't know why it's super tiny. I figured out why it's super mm. yeah, like I don't even know where to type in this thing. <laughs> yeah. You're, that's why I don't think people use it. You can't see it. It's actually supposedly it's supposed to be funny because you can, instead of just sending a message, I mean, you type whatever you type there, it still goes in the chat box, but it also speaks out what you want to say. 
so like let's say if you want to catch my attention and i can't you know i'm not paying attention you can just type in that and you just say it like that should be really cool i don't even know how to use this it's too tiny trying to say something <laughs> i can't uh, i might have to do a google search on that to see why say it live is small and make it big i'll wait into um does it show up in your OBS? Can you resize it, maybe? Yeah, it doesn't because it's not through OBS. It's through the Twitch uh, okay. extension, not an OBS thing. Homelanders in my BG. Okay, I do see it now in Firefox too. It's just weird you have to hover over the video to get it to show up. <laughs> wow, Homelander wasn't able to destroy me. I'm loving the barb. Homelander is another wizard, so Toxic was trying to think another crazy wizard name. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. He is definitely a crazy wizard. And what I don't like about him is that he has this, uh, the invisibility helmet. Super aggro. Bacon wrapped hot dog. Oh, 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 o
Bro, I want an immunity. I want immunity to loss of control, dude. I just learned something. Add it to my channel. Configure. There it is. There it is. Add browser layer to OBS so I can add it to OBS okay control copy okay all right all right all right so you're going to add this to the OBS say it live oh I already have it here in the OBS what the hell test browser source Oh, it does work. I have it there. And it says to put a 320 by 60. Refresh browser when it becomes available. Defaults. Control V. The size he wants me to do. 320 by 60. Okay. Oh, but that's the, the text. Okay, so the text says there. Um, activate extension as panel. Customization. Bits. You can select how much bits for text to speech. I'll put it the cheapest at 100. The voice, you have a bunch of voices that you can choose. Oh my God, there's so many voices. Hello, this is my voice. Hello, this is my voice. Dude, there's stuff all over the place. Hello, <laughs> this is my so voice. Hello, thing. this is my voice. Uh, I want with the uh, Thundercats for my subscription. Hello, this is my voice. <laughs> Sound. Hello, this is my voice. 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 Why is like so I have it fine it's activated but why is it so tiny
This is... This is that what I have to do... Say it live. Configure. I already have it on OBS. What you have on OBS is where you can put the text when somebody sends you the text because it also shows in the screen as well as it speaks on the screen. Um, but on then it says, let's say a live read banner. Authorize. It is authorized. Oh, it wasn't authorized. Remember, you or the moderator approves the request. Activate extension as a panel. Visit my extension page and activate it. Say live. So to activate as a panel, I have to go to extensions. My extensions. Activate. The panel one. The panel say a live is not activated. So solo extension panel one. Done. Oh, it's not on the screen, it's on the panel. Okay. So, okay. So that's where that's where it is. So, instead of going the rollover on my screen bacon, it's on the panel down below. So like, you know, like where you put like about you, where you put like donations uh, and your rules okay. and your stuff like that. Panelists. Okay. The panels are down there. So it's down there now. So if you scroll below my channel, you should see there and you can type anything and whatever you type, it gets spoken. It gets uh, said on the stream. Uh, I was wondering what those panels were. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Cause you like I had a panel there that I actually just removed the one that showed like followers and like the people that give me subs and stuff like that. I just removed that one. Now I gotta go edit it again. What's going on, Knight? I thought it was Nike for a second. That I and the T so close together on my screen. Happy weekend to you, man. Crusader just stole my health potion. What a dusty trick, my man. Ah. Uh... Somebody just fell through my screen. All right, so I have to stay alive. Now I have the Streamlabs leaderboard. Why Streamlabs? 
stream sticker. What's a stream sticker? Invisible wizard beam. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Wow. Dang it. Of source my OBS. Insane, bro.
Hello. What's that? How's it going? Yo, yo, wow. yo. So I found out today that they actually make smartwatches that do not require a cell phone. Correct. There's a bunch of them from China. I didn't know that. And I thought that, and uh, they're a lot cheaper too. Yeah, I was looking at that. They're like, if I wanted to go with the ones that Bluetooth into like my Galaxy, it'd be three, four hundred dollars. But then I was looking at these other ones that are just they're their own phone basically, and they're only like ninety nine to one hundred nine dollars. And it's like Samsung Galaxy like Active Two or Threes, and I'm just like, what? And are you looking to buy one of those? I am looking to buy one of those for whenever I go running. Oh. My phone can be in hassle. It, it swings around. It doesn't really fit that well in my uh, my shorts. And I don't want to wear the armband because I feel like it cuts off my circulation. Okay. No. I've been looking. Especially if it can, like, Bluetooth in and play music. That'd be so nice. Yeah, they can, actually. Cool. Oh, it's just, good luck. It was something I've never explored. Yeah, I'm here. And then, of course, I was like, do they look good with suits? <laughs> was it too gauche? Then we got Wu Tang tonight. I a ten X MPX broke outside your image, no problem. You're going to do an image stroke on the outside. 10px the color white then you're doing some art photoshopping some stuff for my uh witchy channel nice yeah how's the uh how's the other game going the uh the legacy hogwarts legacy yeah um, I haven't played in a couple of, in yesterday uh, in two days because uh, I've been kind of busy. Um, but um, it's a single player game, so there's no really point of rushing because I will beat the game like so quick. Eventually. And then I'll be sad about it. But it's really fun. Uh, boys. The. Uh. Tony, I dropped another like hundred and something bucks. You feel Trying good about it? Get more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I always <laughs> feel good about spending money. Cause everything I spend money on is stuff I like, so I <clears throat> uh, still need Two rank one blessing of the worthy. Got my bottle of hope up to rank three. Nice. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, now. sir. Okay. It, it hit a lag and it reset and then nobody could hear me. It sucks. 
We Audio can jungle. hear you. Excellent. Audio now jungle. I must go to battlegrounds and kill my work. Tonight. Tony, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I'll, I was just gonna say tonight I'm gonna record the uh, the battle with Wu Tang, and I'm gonna see if that icon for the immortal shows up again, or if that was because it was an NPC immortal. So, um, uh, one topic that uh, Toxic brought it up that I wonder if you know of this um, by any chance? Do you know? If when Shadow Wars happen and you're playing, um, you do damage over time. You do haunts on the immortal. Like, like for example, if you're using your main weapon with the burn on your multi shot, or um, do you burn the enemy? Um, uh, I want to say yes. But with so much damage poured into these guys, it's really hard to tell. Well, the, the only damage you see is your damage. Oh, well, then I want to say yes. That's part of the reason why we switch to the ones we do. Oh, I like this. This is a fun add-on. Definitely not a fan of the Why aren't you a fan of? Uh the the monks teleportation. Not a fan of monk teleportation. Monks don't teleport, what are you talking about what is that turning blue flash around the screen thing? Will they go from one side of the screen, hopscotch to the other side of the screen? <sighs> These monks, bro, I'm telling you. to deal with yeah I got my stream up if anyone wants to play around with some avatars <laughs> I got a yeah. little extension avatars huh I'm gonna check it yep. out now. Maybe I'm doing some. You get a little character on the screen and you can do commands with them from the chat. I 
I should go to assembly. 15 minutes. Oh yeah, I gotta do a vault too, I think. Yeah. You gotta do vault, gotta do, you wanna get the buffs first and then do vault after? Okay. I'm down to throw down on some vault. <clears throat> cool. I'm Super Leo. You're just gonna get banned, dude. Oh, Tony, did I tell you I awakened my um, trick shot? Ooh, how's that going for you? Oh, good. <clears throat> Let Does anybody lag once they walk inside of the uh, Horde of Whispers? I've not experienced that time. Okay. And what is the cooldown on the freaking Undying Rage? Uh, it's very short. I mean, not really. It, dep really. it depends on mastery. It depends if you have things awakened. It depends if you have essences for it. There's a few things that depends on. But they're, they're... I mean, we're sitting here killing this barbarian. He's running right back to us. And he's got him down and right back up. What the hell is this dude? Like, you know what that, that is means? Some um, yeah, Undying Rage is, is, is Undying Rage, just to give you an idea. So, you know how Demon Hunters have vengeance that you want to keep up all time? With the barb, what I have learned so far is that I have Berserk, Wrath of the Berserker, which is kind of like my vengeance that I, I want to keep up all time, right? And, um... When I have my Wrath of the Berserker on, which is like my vengeance, and I cast Undying Rage, or Undying Rage cast by itself automatically, um... It heals me by so much, bro. Like, the amount of, of life that I regen is insane. Let's do a port here. Audio jungle. Oh. And the only good thing is I get fucking I get points whether I win or lose at the moment, but jeez. Oh and... I didn't know it was yeah, that freaking quick. Oh my god. You should at least be able to overpower their LMAO. when they change cheat to death. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder what D4 is going to do to D 
to Diablo Immortal. Did you see the um the uh uh open beta news? No. Yep. So open beta now March early March. It's uh oh. so if you pre purchase early access for the open beta starts on the seventeenth. And so then you would get it the seventeenth through the twenty sixth. And if you did yeah. not pre purchase the game, you can still get into the open beta, which is the twenty fourth through the twenty sixth. Okay. <clears throat> I can't wait, can't wait. Yeah, it looks like there is a lot of people that are going to be leaving uh, Diablo Immortal for it. Oh, I'll still be playing Diablo Immortal. That's not going anywhere for me. Yeah. I'm in a ridiculous whale match right now. Got a pair gone up to almost 200. Nice. Nice. Gonna catch up to you soon, bruh. <laughs> right. She's getting a little frustrated because when she goes into a battleground, I'm trying to explain, and you know, I've been trying to play to her that because she has, she's getting close to 500 res, I think. And uh, her CR is like below 2,000, and she's like, I keep getting destroyed in BGs. And I'm like, yep, because you've got to grind and get that CR up. Until you do, it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. Look, you know, you know, you know what would be best. Like, I mean, it's great to get to the top. You want to get to, you know, hell seven, hell eight. That's all fair and all. But to be honest, you just want to farm scraps, bro. You just enjoyed the time while you're leveling and farm scraps at the low hell level. I usually turn on some music and then she and I jam. Yeah, I mean that 800% experience is very nice, and then after you lose it, kind of like. Comes a little bit sad. <laughs> oh, I missed that 800%. Wouldn't that be nice? Right? So, kind of don't squander it, right? Like, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I told her, I said, just wait till you get up closer to the server paragon and that, sh and that shit slows down. <laughs> The moment you lose it. Well, I guess I'm back into the uh, ridiculous well match bracket. <laughs> Alright, what happened? Uh they got Quinnenbort, Thorn, Estelina, Deladix, Rajan. <laughs> they have like six or seven whales. It's ridiculous. We only have like two or three. <laughs>
Well, what's your ranking? Uh, I think I was in fourth. Well, can't complain <laughs> about that. Yeah. Sitting here pretty, and you're complaining about that, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as I hit like 6,000, I got put back into these. <laughs> oh my god, that was hard. That was quick. I've been doing way too many edibles. Time to I'm, I'm going to take a break like I usually do. <laughs> I'll I'll get tired of it after a while, and I'll take a break for about a month or two. That's good. And not do any of it. That's good. I give up as a whole. I'm gonna go clear clean this year. Help me lose weight. I lost a lot of weight. It's just, it's literally fried my brain. Like I'll be having a conversation with my girlfriend and then mid sentence, I can't remember what, I, what we were even talking about sometimes. Not good. So that's when I know it's time to take a break. Take a break from taking a break. Okay, who's got the buff? Come on, people, don't AFK in assembly. What are you doing? Yeah, it just started. They're AFK in already. <laughs> yeah, the lore shared with me. Tony, do you have the buff? Mm, I have the buff. Okay. Like somebody gave me the buff. I don't have the buff. Uh, if I get one that you're looking, that you need to get, I'll uh, be rock y'all. Yeah. So it'd be good to have like, you know, a few of us in assemble together just so we don't have to wait around on the AFKers. The cool stuff is that we do actually um, see each other. We see cleansies, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. They really need to do some of this assembly stuff. Like when people, they should know by now that a lot of these people just go AFK. Right? They just stand there. Oh, so yeah. They need to have something where if you click on them and they have the buff, even if they're AFK, it just, you know, it just gives it to you. Nice, right, so you got your avatar. Oh no, that's never mind. Someone else. <laughs> what? Yeah, somebody else had it. No, I thought radio had it, but it's somebody else. I forget names sometimes. <laughs> that's weird. It says I don't have any viewers. But I think if like you go to someone's channel and you're muted, it doesn't count you as a viewer if they're not listening to the audio. Uh, <laughs> so the way that works. Or the way it's, I've heard it be said as far as like dealing with that is that just go in there and just, uh, you, know, within, you know, within the first five or 10 minutes, you know, just type something in the chat and then it will count you. And then after that, it doesn't matter. Because once you're accounted for until you leave, you're, you're a part of the count. Uh. Well, that doesn't help me if I'm the one streaming. <laughs> I say that's what it was told to me. I don't know how true it is. That makes sense, though. I'll tell you what, though. Getting partner back in the early days of Twitch was very tough. Well, 
it's very tough now that we can get a hundred or oh, 75 viewers like yeah it, my and this is coming from a few a few people within the last year that have gone after partnership and they've all told me that yeah that's 75 that they as long as you have at least 30 consistent viewers that twitch doesn't seem to really care well when but when would they switch me over because i have that oh i'm just going based off of other people's experiences again like i haven't you know tested that theory myself but their their requirements now for partnership are like a cakewalk compared to what they used to be <laughs> They've got more lax in that department and more strict in others. I mean, I remember a time before streamers could IP ban somebody from their stream. Really? Wow. Holy crap. Oh, you want to talk about people getting trolled all the time. Because a lot of people back then, and I'm sure it's still the same way now, but... They would uh, just make an alt account and they would just use that account to go on people's streams and just troll the shit out of them. Oh. There's always trolls, ain't there some? Why, why, why there must always be trolls? One day I trolled because one of my friends. People get very, people get very bold when they don't have accountability. Say people get bored. Is that what you said? Uh, you say people get bored. No, I said people get bold when there's no accountability. Oh. Yeah. I know a group of guys back in the day that uh, that's all they did was just go around and just troll people on Twitch. And not just troll them a little bit, troll them to the point where the person would get really mad. But strict, uh, Twitch is more strict on this stuff nowadays, which I think is a good thing. They should have they should have started that strictness a long time ago, though. Uh, Twitch is like just... Man, there's so many more streamers now than there, than there used to be. Hey, can I got my blessing if you uh, want to do that. Yeah. Yep, I just finished mine too. I was photoshopping stuff uh, and I forgot to do my... Where are you standing at? Oh, yeah. No, it's not you. But... Oh, there's Goat. Uh, yeah, let me give you a lead. Oh, I got it. I got it. I, I got it. I didn't realize I had it. So I got it. We good. Gnarly, I already bro. got it. You guys want to go knock out vault real quick? Gnarly, bro. Let's hit the waves. <clears throat> After war, I'm going to go cook dinner. Down for Vault, Alex? Or... You mad, bro? You still here, Alex? bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. What's up? Down for vault? Sure. Oh, brother. Uh, are you in a party? <laughs> I am not. Um... Oh, there you are. I gotta go to vault real quick. I am ready to fight. Are you? Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Oh. Gnarly, bro.
Doing what are you doing, step bro? Oh. Hey, GG's, bro. Good I fell through the wall. I really like having a balanced fight. GG. What? <laughs> I'm trying to get there. Helping barbarian keys. Wait, what happened? He fell through the floor or something? He fell through the floor. GG! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Unstick Sorry, didn't work. Bro. Really? Yeah. I'm still falling. Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, I don't think he can come back. <laughs> that sucks. Wait. Let's find out. Uh, he left the party and everything. He can't re enter. Oh, no. Why'd you leave? Because I was falling forever and unstick wouldn't work. Hmm. Aww. Guess we're gonna three men. Let's see what happens. Oh, we had another issue with the vault. <laughs> you try and bite him? Yeah, I can try. I joined the party. I wonder if I can go back in. Oh, you are a fucking dick, Madeline. Uh, no, it won't let me come back into you guys. You guys can... No. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna let you. That sucks. How many freaking wardens are there? Jeez. They're using that uh, feature where there's more warding in the vault. Three men vault, let's go. Should we let should we let it pop earlier? Do we need to go all the way to fourth? I mean, we're all capped. Yeah, just let the warden go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we could. I just want to kill the corp. I want to kill the enemy so we ha you have corpses for you. I'm not using corpse lands. Oh, you're not? Okay. Oh, I should just kill the enemies anyway. Not the warden. Don't kill the warden. <laughs> you know, I've been finding Soldier to be really good for the Shadow War. Isn't that like the thing that works against elites? 
Soldier, no. Uh, no, soldier. Soldier requires you to be within like 15 meters of your party. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Why should you Reduces just damage, him? heals all your party members, that kind of stuff. Don't kill the warden radio. When I die, all my party members uh, get healed by 16%. If I drop below 15%, as long as I'm within like 10 yards of my party, then I get basically it auto bandages me. The, the damage boost doesn't help. That only works in battlegrounds. But, you know, the rest of it does. All right, let's see what happens. Mortals have entered the vault. All right. Oh, they're uh, they're going charging, charging. Come. Three, two, one. Two crusaders using horse. Oh my god, we got this. Let's go. Lot of them. Two Crusader using horse. What are these guys thinking? Hello, Toxic. How are you? Goodbye, Toxic. Welcome back, Toxic. Just three men vault. Nice. <laughs> hey, at least I got credit for the vault, though. So. Wait, you got credit? I did. I didn't get credit for any chest you move open, but I at least got credit for the vault. Easy mold with that barb, for sure. And the second I saw two crusaders on a horse, and it was like holiday, man. Christmas all <laughs> over again. What a waste of skill to have in your... In your build. Oh, maybe it was easier because there's only three of us. The no. less res. <laughs> oh, less res. No. Because whoever was the first in the queue would have taken us. Yeah, true. I mean, does, if it works like that, that would be dangerous. I mean, I want a three-man ball every time if that's how it works. <laughs> what? Like, where you just have three players instead of four, so then you're not a tough match for a lot of people. And then uh -huh. they take you. Uh, like, easy. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, Maybe they saw there was only three of us and were like, oh, we got this. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I would say I want me to try and do that again. <laughs> but somebody has to leave early then. So. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. Like, back, like get in and back out real quick just to see. I'm going to share my blessing. Oh shit, I think you credit for the chest. Undefected broadcasting house. Bruh. Well, that's messed up. Talk, talk and chest. What? By Voicey dot network.
So, bro. Oh, brother. Hey, what's up, Mark? Uh, you can change your avatar with the commands. Let's go, I'll charge it to the chat above you. Nice. <laughs>
Okay. I have those two. Oh, I hate it when it does that shit. <laughs> Are we going again for both, or? Uh, I'm down. If you, if you need to, sure. I'm down. I was, I was gonna go to BG's. I don't, oh, okay. I don't, I don't need to. I'm just helping out if needed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I just need the one. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to jump higher. <laughs> I ended up missing out on that four, uh, um, <laughs> the guaranteed four star choice gym. Dead. My money didn't refresh in time. <laughs> Elder Rift and contract. I gotta do an Elder and a contract. <laughs> All right, cool. Here it up, a couple of these. <laughs> cool, what? But you can't. <laughs> I threw the bombs. <laughs> Bro. So oh, bacon, you gotta check out this. Uh, I got something for you. See if you like this this um, add-on. You may have to refresh my page if you have it open. I have the Twitch theater, so I oh. think that uh, is it like one of the panel things. It is one of the panels. I mean, I don't have to put it on the panel. I can put it on the screen and it works fine. I just don't know if I should put it on the screen or, or if I should keep it as a panel. I mean, should I keep it as a panel? Perhaps? I mean, I never really go down to look at the panels. <laughs> you never go down to look at the panels, right? Ah. Uh, yeah, not that much. <laughs> all right, so let me put it on. Instead of a panel, I'm going to put it as a component. All right. Oh, I have to grant access to the Say It Live thing. What do you mean? When I scrolled down, it said grant access to use my Twitch user or something. Oh. Well, we have to say who says it. Right? Yeah, good. I can actually see it now, though. <laughs> 
So there it is. So now over the window. So I, I put it on as a as a component instead of a instead of um oh. a panel. So when you go when you put the mouse over the screen, you should see a little heart, a little stream sticker heart. What did you become a partner? I've been partner for days. I mean, I, um, I just got Twitch affiliate. Affiliate. I've been affiliate for days, for months. I got it this morning. For months, years actually. Was for it? years. I've been affiliate since Jeez. I used to Fortnite days. It's amazing. I have been an affiliate as long as never. An affiliate. Let me see. Does it show whenever? You I only have one thing left for partners, and it's getting the average seventy-five viewers. It's tough, man. When there's only few people watching, but today was a good day. I'm really happy to see some streamers with really high numbers. It'll be nice whenever there's more content. Yes.
No way, Tiny Penny went offline. And all those 90 people that were heroes with him just dropped. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Gonna be nice to go up against Wu Tang. Yeah, in about an hour's time. Which is not bad. Oh yeah. Not too shabby. Second there, my man. One second there, my man. What's going on, Tony? How you doing? Now, now that you can have subscribers on Twitch, you can stream on both YouTube and sometimes just tell you should know. Thank you, man. What do you mean? Why? What happens? Why, why, where does it say that? Is that a thing? I 
Ah, so loud. Bro, good job, Tiny. You had a lot of... I think you had the most viewers that I've ever seen any streamer have. No. JT and DM have had over 100. You had a lot of viewers today, dude. That was awesome. I'm happy for you, and I'm super happy that there are people watching other people playing this game. Let me see, edit now. It's going to be an extension, isn't it? Sorry, I'm just trying to tweak the sounds really quick. I'm getting the voice o'clock working on my... Today's a big day, everybody got Shadow Wars. On two platforms, it's time, but you can use your bots to make YouTube content. Ah! Oh, nobody watches my YouTube anyway. That's good to know. In essence, I don't even use the YouTube video to create the YouTube video. I actually use the Twitcher, the Twitch. Um, I go back to my streams and I um, 